Well, today, well, some updates from the auto sector. April car sales are expected to increase by a seasonally adjusted annual rate of 14.4 million. Now, that's good news for car makers, but is it good for consumers? Here to tell us is Jill Schlesinger from CBSMoneyWatch.com. She joins us now from New York. Good morning, Jill. Hey, Jill. Good morning. So, so what do we need? What do we need to know about the current car, car buying market? Well, you know, car companies, they are increasing their sales and profitability. Unfortunately, that means deals are harder to come by for the rest of us. You know, the average new car price rose by nearly 6% last year. And given that a car is usually the second most expensive purchase that you make after a home, you got to put in some time and conduct some research. I know it's a pain in the neck, but here we go. Once you have your budget, got a few sites for you to check out. Edmunds.com, KBB.com, that's Kelly Blue Book, and Nada guides.com you can get pricing information learn about available inventory in your area and what you want to do is you want to whittle your list down to three specific makes and models within your category because you want to have some choices you don't want to fall in love with a car this is a very dangerous situation mm -hmm. now is it best to still buy a used car remember that was always what mm -hmm. you were told to get before mm -hmm. Well, you know, two to three year old cars are great because someone else takes the depreciation hit for you. But the problem is right now, people are hanging on to vehicles a lot longer. So the stock of used cars, it's pretty low. And in fact, prices are high, so you need to be careful. Remember that when you buy from a private party, that can save you money, but you are out of luck if you get a lemon. Buying used from a dealer costs a little more, but at least you have some recourse if things go wrong. The only warranty to buy, pay attention, to this is the one that's offered by the car company itself that's referred to as the factory warranty a lot of people get a little bit rooked by other things that are claiming to be warranties you want just the factory warranty mm -hmm. okay hey Joe before you go what about leasing versus owning you know, if you don't have a lot of cash for a down payment or you have a business purpose or, you know, you're like Yuki, you want to have a new car every few years, <laughs> then leasing may be right for you. But look, if you keep a car for five years or more, then owning is preferable. As, as always, the most financially prudent move is to pay cash for a used car and drive it into the ground. But not a lot of people can do that. I understand that. Um, just for fun, to see which car companies are breaking ground right now, go to MoneyWatch.com. We've got highlights from the the Beijing Auto Show. Ooh. It's finishing up this week. There is some cool stuff there. I don't know if we'll ever drive it. I'm sort of like a Flintstones car kind of gal. <laughs> yeah, I, my Electra 225 is running just fine. Uh -huh. My deuce and, a, deuce and a quarter. My roller skate still it. works, though. That's all I need. <laughs> Thanks, Jill. Thanks, Jill. <laughs>